Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. This is gonna be fast video. How to repair BMS pass. So this BMS was fluted. Uh, this is the cooler thermal pad. One screw. Rusty. However, I don't see. I see a little bit of, mm, little bit of corrosion here. But these are this. These are not connected. These are for this. If you have more, if you have 11, 12, 13 cells, these look a little bit like corrosion. But those cells are all the cells are fine. The The last set of cells which are fluted, I replaced them just for testing with random cells. What I will get the same cells like this, and basically, I don't know what is this chip, but it seems to have balancer even. This 470, this resistor 470, they are connected to each battery and. Uh, there can be some switch inside in this chip and you can do some balancing however how do i repair this uh, old school repair remove this and pop the fuse here 13 amps fuse i've never burned for 13 amps fuse and i i built many of not many i built a few batteries like this LG cells, Panasonic cells, no problem, the quality cells, they had 2000 cycles, very low capacity and you don't need to balance them, they, got, they are just the same. So if you if you use them in good range and your, your BMS, uh, your controller will unplug at, I don't know, 28 volts or so. I had never problem. I used some Canadian cells and they were the oldest which I had and uh, yeah after probably 1500 cycles eventually one block failed but these batteries these Chinese batteries like they seems to be okay they get capacity but I have many batteries where the cells just failed like my son was using scooter and then so it's just failed so uh random fail i don't think it's probably overloaded with current the bms can be probably set like maximum current a little bit lower Let's see these two these two register probably remove one and you will have only half current so i don't know i repaired few because i got them job lot they works after repair but not sure how long because i did only five cycle on it i'm not heavy user my son is now heavy user so he'll know more but anyway this is absolutely fine if you short here the fuse should protect cells diode just in case you short this circuit charging circuit uh, it's not gonna do anything because there is diode and the diode will probably burn at 3 amps or 5 amps but it's behind the fuse anyway so I'm just gonna put this Think over obviously this is not sure or not just the electric shrink cable cube there's one here you have to remove and shrink it for the fuse that fuse uh, gets pretty hot and it's not easy to solder you have to hold it and blow on it to make sure it will 
field hold so as you can see i'm just gonna show you this here and pop it in this space and that's it that's how i'm gonna use it and uh, yeah maybe you can ask how it works but as i said i had a battery built this way and uh, you don't really need balancer if you get a good solid cell they will not get uh, different voltage and of course you can you should just use them like 20 80 percent and you should be fine for thousand cycles probably with any battery unless unless they fail and 20 80 percent is the best range that's what i advise don't charge them under 10 degrees and don't keep it fully charged for long so i hope it helps guys thanks for watching if you can subscribe i will be great thank you bye